Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this incredibly quick and easy latch card. It's called that because it opens from behind this little doodad which latches it into place and there's plenty of space inside for writing. So I made something a couple of weeks ago, pretty similar-ish, where it was just the designer series paper six by six cut down and it flaps over and you get to see both sides of the paper this time it's got one side of it showing like i say it's got the lovely little latch and then the other side of the paper is in here before the regular you know card opens up it's regular eight and a half by five and a half so it fits in a standard envelope but without further delay let me show you how we made it so like i say it takes a piece of eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter so we will go and fold that in half and give it a nice burnish with the bone folder it's got a piece of one layer down so it's four by five and a quarter and i'm actually going to stick this inside first and I'll explain to you why in just a little minute. So we'll quickly stick that in. As always, of course, the directions to dimensions will be on my blog, so you'll be able to find them there. So we'll pop that in. That's more or less the card made in itself. We just need the de decorations on the front. And the piece that latches over the designer series paper is two and a half by five and a half and it's scored at the half inch mark so i'm going to fold that over where that half inch is and the reason we put the white inside is it needs to be as fat as it's going to be before you attach the designer series paper so you want it flat on the front but because there's quite a thickness there you just want to make sure if you score that down too fast, it's not going to lie properly. So make your card as fat as it's going to be. And then we can attach the flap that comes over. So somewhere I have my silicon mat and I'm going to use the liquid glue down here. Just because we need it to stay stuck. And sometimes it's nice just to have a little second or two of wiggle room. So card made, inside put in, so it's going to be as fat as it's going to be. We just need to make sure we're making the card the right way around, of course. You don't want to make it upside down or anything. And then we're going to tuck this in. Make sure it's lined up on the front and then fold it across to the back and then it will find its own thickness of fold I mean we're talking like a sixteenth of an inch or a thirty second of an inch but you just don't want it to be absolutely lutely flat so that's the card made with its front little flap and now all we have to do is make the latch so I'm going to use one of the newer punches it is modern oval so I'm just going to cut it out of a piece of basic white cardstock. It doesn't really have a measurement. And then what I wanted to do was cut that down a little bit. And the way to do that is if you thread it in to the punch in the back and pull it through somewhat, you can then cut it again. This little smiley happy piece comes out of the way. And then you're left with a smaller piece. So like I'd made the previous card, I had die cut the flowers out of the delightfully floral designer series paper. So I cut one of the teeny tiny leaves just because I felt it sort of filled in a corner, as it were. Put a couple of little glue dots on there and stick that down into the bottom corner and then the flower itself we can just put on with the rolling adhesive the only thing you have to be careful about of course 
is to not go too far because you don't want it to be sticky here because you will actually stick your card closed and your recipient won't know who has sent it to them because they won't be able to get in to see who it was. So a couple of little pieces of adhesive, just enough to hold it to the cut down oval. So we'll attach that like that. And that is the little latch made. And then we just need to bring in some dimensionals. So again, we don't want there to be dimensionals over here because it will keep the card closed. So we just need it to be over this side. So we'll put one at the top, one at the bottom, and one all the way over at this side. So when you come to attach it, you know it's free and clear. Peel the backing papers off really quickly. And then hold it down as close as you want it to be and stick this down. You don't have to put it too far over because you do have to be able to leave a little bit for it to be able to flip outwards. But you do want it to hold it. It's sort of like that sweet spot. Enough that you can get it out, but enough that there's plenty coming over to hold it in place. And then last but not least, I'm going to use the Berry Burst, which is one of the coordinating colours in the DSP. And I'm using a stamp from the new Simply Said. We're going to do Just a Note. Just a Note is just fabulous. You can have Just a Note to say anything, really, can't you? It's just a lead-in to write anything on the inside that you want to say. So that's the... Oops. That's the inside done. And then last but not least, I'm going to bring in some sequins, some little bits of doodads. These are actually very old artisanal blooms, which I think have been retired for two or three years now. But I have them and they match so beautifully. I wanted to use them. And there's nothing to say that once it's retired out of the catalogue that it becomes unbeautiful. So there you have it two cards the same so it latches into place it opens up nicely it closes well just have to persuade it gently to close please thank you it fits into a standard envelope and there you have it i don't know if i mentioned actually at the very beginning i got the idea from karen titus i had just seen one that she had made i'd made them i'd made some years and years ago couldn't actually even find a sample to bring it out to show you but I was reminded by Karen, so she will get the credit for this week's video. I hope you like what you've seen. If you do, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. I always like thumbs up. If you've got a question or a comment, pop them in the box below. I always try to answer everyone. As always, the directions and dimensions will be on my blog. And last but not least, thanks so much for watching.